Hi, in this video we are going to be looking at objects, properties and methods in JavaScript. So far in these tutorials we've been working with different data types and different structures such as variables and arrays and those data structures are used to hold or store uh, data in a program in different ways. Variables can be used to store one piece of data or one value at a time uh, whereas arrays can be used to store many values um, at a time. Another type of structure for storing data is an object, and that's what we're going to look at in this video. Objects are variables, but they can contain many values. Um, and like arrays, they can contain many values. However, the way that the data is stored and accessed from objects is different um, to arrays. Arrays use uh, indexing. So each element in an array has an index that starts from zero. Uh, so the first element has an index of zero. Second element has an index of one third element has an index of two and, and so on. And each of the elements in an array can be accessed by referencing, um, referring to uh, the element's index or position in the array. Uh, objects work a little bit differently. So objects can contain a range of values that are given names. So we can give each value a different name and then find that value in the object by referring to its um, name. And Objects can contain both properties and methods. So they can contain data or information about that object, um, what it's storing, um, but they can also contain methods, like functions that can be called or used on those objects. Okay, so for example, an object uh, called user might store information about a user uh, in a program. So it might have different values um, like their first name, last name, email address, uh, password, date of birth, and so on. These are the properties, they're called the properties of the user object. So we can access those bits of information, that, that data about that user, by referring to the names of those properties, like first name, last name, and so on. Um, but an object can also have methods that can perform different tasks. So for example, we might want to um, display the user's full name, um, or we might want to use their date of birth to calculate their current age or uh, the number of days till their birthday. So we can have methods, blocks of code, right, functions that can perform tasks for that object. So we'll work through a few different examples uh, in this video. We're looking at objects, looking at the different properties that an object can have and um, looking at methods as well. So to create an object, it's just like creating a variable, we say var, and then we give it a name. So I'm going to call this object user, and we can say equals using the assignment operator. Uh, we use curly brackets, and this can all be done on one line of code, or we could break it up on uh, different lines, multiple lines of code, a different, having a different property on each line. And then what we can do is just add each, uh, each property and its value, um, and then separate them by commas. So for example, we might give this user an ID, which might just be a numeric ID like one. They might have a unique username or screen name, like that. Uh, we might store their first name, their last name, and maybe some other information like their date of birth or um, their location. Okay, so what we can see here is we have an object and it's, uh, it has uh, name value pairs. So what this means is that each value that's stored in this object has a name. So last name, and then we have colon, Simpson. First name, we have colon, and Homer, and so on. So these are called named value pairs. We have a name for a property and then the value that it stores. All right, and these are all examples of properties here. ID, username, first name, last name, and suburb are all properties of the user object. And as we can see, they can be different data types. So ID is an integer, username is a string, and all these other values here are strings, but we can store values of different types, integers, booleans, floats, strings. All right. Now to access uh, information or data from this object called user, we don't need to, uh, it's not like a race, so we don't need to reference an index 
of um, elements like we would in an array, we can just refer to different, um, or access different bits of information about this user object with different properties by referencing the name of that property. So for example, if I want to display the user's first name just in the console, I would just say user, that's the name of the object, and then dot and the name of that property that I want to display, which is first name. Okay, so if I go and um, open up this file and refresh the page and look in the console, I can see the user's first name there. And if I wanted to display their suburb, I could just say user dot suburb, the name of that uh, property. And, oops, don't need two parentheses there. Okay, I'm going to refresh the page after saving that code and we can see the suburb there. Okay, that's one way of accessing the information from an object. We can also type it like this. We can say console.log user and then in square brackets and quotation marks um, the name of the property that we want, just like that. So that's another method. Uh, whoops, that didn't work. Oh, last name, uppercase N. Try again. There we go, so we can see the last name property being displayed there. All right, so there's two different methods that we can use to access uh, properties from an object. All right, so um, with objects, uh, they can contain multiple properties, but they can also contain methods as well. And methods are actions that can be performed on objects. They're basically functions that are stored as a property in an object. Um, so a function is defined uh, in an object's property. So for example, we might want to have a method that will display the full name of a user by joining their first and last name values together and formatting that nicely. Um, we might want to have a uh, maybe a method that gets their date of birth if that was a property stored in the object and then looks at the current date and um, calculates what, what their age would be or maybe when their birthday is, that kind of thing. So uh, we can have different methods um, that are defined uh, in an object property. All right, so I'm going to add a comma at the end of this line here to create a new line and um, add a method. And I'm going to, the first one is just going to be for displaying the user's first name. So I'll call it display um, their full name. It's going to display their full name. So we'll say display full name function. All right, so parentheses and then curly brackets. And then we can put all the code that we want in this function here. So I can do something like this. I can return this object's first name plus a space and then their last name. Oops, this dot last name. Okay, so what this means is that when the display full name method is called on this user object, it's going to return this uh, string. It's going to be this object's first name and then a space and then this object's last name. So it's going to display Homer Simpson with a space between those two words. All right, so we could go and test that out. We could say console.log and then call the method on that object. So we could say user.display full name and then open close a pair of parentheses there. And so what we're doing is we're calling this method that we created up here, defining this object. Uh, we're calling this method on the user object. So it's going to return the first name and a space and the last name um, concatenated or joined together as one string. So I'll save the code, we'll go and refresh the page and then we can see Homer Simpson there. We've got first name, a space, and then last name. All right, we could uh, add another method if we wanted to. Maybe this one might be for displaying location, and it might just do it in a nice uh, formatted way. So here, instead of um, adding a regular property, we can say function to create a method. And this method will do something similar. It's just going to return um, this dot first name uh, and then leave this in 
and then this dot suburb. Okay, so it's going to say something like Homer lives in Springfield. Okay, so if we were to call that method on this object, we will see this. Okay, so that's uh, just an introduction to objects which can contain different properties. Um, so values that have different names and uh, methods as well that can be called on those objects. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.